uh, in the future, the cars are going to get a lot more slippery, which is what an engineer would say about aerodynamics. So a lot, of a lot more cars are going to look like uh, sports cars and like the Prius, very uh, sloped with a, with, a, with a spoiler fin in the back of some sort. Uh, and there's a lot of things that can be done to make cars uh, move, move more easily through the air. At high speeds, aerodynamics is everything, and weight doesn't matter at all. So the cars are going are to look more streamlined, which is okay. The first vehicles uh, uh, that we'll see in the next year uh, are the first plug-in hybrid by a large car maker. There's some small ones, but the first large one is going to be General Motors with the Chevy Volt, a four-passenger uh, vehicle that most people estimate will cost in the thirty to thirty-five thousand dollar range after tax credits. At the same time, Nissan will probably have the first large company's large volume production with the Nissan Leaf. Uh, and that's a 100-mile range all-electric vehicle. If Americans thought about it, they would realize that every two-car family right now, the second car could be an all-electric vehicle. A 100-mile range vehicle is plenty for everybody to do their local driving, and then when they want to go across the country, they use their first vehicle. But most people go into a showroom and they say, well, what if one day I happen to want to use that car to drive 1,000 miles? I can't do it. I don't want the car. But in fact, they could do that right now. So as the 100-mile range all-electric vehicles come in, uh, we, I think we'll see a change in people's attitudes. And from CalCar's perspective, who have been promoting plug-in hybrids, if we turn out to be wrong about our sense that the platform for future development of most cars for the next 10 or 20 years is going to be plug-in hybrids, that is, vehicles that have an an electric range that carries you for your local commuting, but the same car can take you across the country because it does have a gasoline engine as well. If we turn out to be wrong and all electric vehicles get there sooner, uh, we win even bigger. The whole auto industry is changing. It used to be uh, uh, the Detroit 3, uh, then it was the American 3, now it's uh, you know, the, the American 2. Uh, with, uh, uh, with Chrysler uh, going to, to Fiat. Um, and meanwhile, there are a bunch of startups in Indiana and other places, and Silicon Valley has emerged as a center for automotive technology as well, uh, because cars are becoming more and more electronic, and the control systems become more important, and the battery technologies become more important. So the whole auto industry is going national and actually international, because uh, probably within a decade or two, most of the cars in the world will, will be built in, in China and other com countries in Asia. So this is all changing. Uh, but the, uh, the ability to have local manufacturing is actually increasing as a result of this. Because e when you have a car that's more electronic, you can build it in many more places.